Hello, my friend. Welcome back. We have 20 minutes of movement together and it's all Pilates focused. Okay. We're going to find a lot of hybrid movements today, which means we're going to be targeting more than one area of the body at the same time. And it's going to be lovely. If you want some music to listen to as we're moving together, I've linked a playlist below hit play. As soon as we're on the mat, you don't need any equipment today and I will see you when you're ready. Okay, my friend, if you have that playlist ready, let's hit play in three, two, one, go. And can you meet me in a seated position on your bum with your feet right out in front of you, knees are bent, feet are grounded. Reach your arms forward, palms of your hands face one another, spread your fingers so your arms are active. Now lift up through the top of your head, try to get really long through your spine and then slowly start to C-shape curve your spine, lean back just halfway or maybe less than that, slight tuck of your chin into chest. Lift up tall spine and then exhale, little lean back. Give me two more, lift up, reach up. Exhale, little C-shape curve to the spine. One more, lift up, lengthen. And exhale, hold that little C-shape curve, that tiny lean back. Feel your rib cage drawing inward to the midline of your center. Now slowly roll down inch by inch all the way down to your back. Stretch your legs out long, reach your arms up overhead. Take a big inhale, big exhale. Awesome. Now interlace your fingers behind your head. Elbows are going to stay fairly wide. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, lift your head and shoulders and lift your right leg up to 90 degrees. Good. And then inhale to lower all the way down. Do it again. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Inhale to lower. Good. We're going to catch the beat. Okay. We go up for two down for two. Exhale, squeeze to lift. Inhale to lower. So as you're moving through this, try to let your head be heavy in your hands and try to keep your left leg heavy on the mat as well. Exhale, squeeze to lift. Inhale to lower. And notice if your hips are rocking side to side, maybe the movement gets a little bit smaller in order to find that deep control. Squeeze to lift. Inhale to lower. Give me four. That's it. It's three. You've got two and lengthen all the way down. Now reach your right leg straight up towards the ceiling, lift head and shoulders up, hold right here, and then reach behind the right leg. Good. Flex your left foot, hover your left leg up off the mat, just a few inches, head and shoulders are lifted, flex your right foot, switch the legs, switch for two, switch for two. That's it. Exhale and big exhale. Yes. You find a shush breath. Like you're telling me to be quiet. You go shh and then shh. Yeah. Maybe look down at your low belly. When you activate the deep core using that shush breath, it's almost like you're pumping it down towards your spine. Give me five. You've got it four. hold on to this. It's three, two, one. Now left leg lifts, right leg lowers, drop your right leg down, lower head and shoulders down, lower your left leg down, interlace your fingers behind your head. Big inhale. As you exhale, lift head and shoulders and lift your left leg up to 90 degrees. Inhale to lower. We go lift for two, down for two. Exhale, squeeze to lift. Inhale to lower. Awesome job. You got it. Now again, notice if you're pulling on the back of your head, instead, let your head really rest heavy in your hands. Squeeze to lift. Inhale to lower. Make sure you're using your breath. It's going to help you to support your body here. Good. And you go down for two. It's five. Inhale. You've got four. You've got three. That's it for two. All the way down. Now lift your left leg up to the ceiling. Lift your right leg up to meet it. Inhale. Exhale. Lift head and shoulders up off the mat. Good. You can keep your legs where they are or maybe drop them down a couple more inches. Maybe keep your hands where they are or maybe arms come down alongside your body. Pump your arms. These are your 100s. You can always bend your knees to 90 if that feels better. You can always bring your tiptoes down to the mat. Big inhale. Find an exhale. Shh. Breathe in. That's it. And out Shh. for eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one, and hug your knees into chest. Drop your head and shoulders down. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Amazing. Now roll over to your left side and come onto your left forearm. Have your knees stacked and lift your left hip up so your right hip is stacking over top of the left, okay? Right arm is going to reach up towards the sky. Now you can stay on your knees or you can be on your feet. It's totally up to you. As long as you feel secure in that shoulder, right arm is going to thread under the left side body. Go thread for two, lift up and reach. That's it. Feeling into that rotation through your torso. So we're targeting that left oblique. We're actually using the right oblique as well to help rotate through the twist and push into that left forearm so that you can activate your left shoulder and left side of your chest. That's it, goes reach and you go twist. You find an inhale and then three more, reach. Good, thread. We go reach and thread. You got one more here. Lift up and thread it under. Good, reach all the way up. Now, whether you're on your feet or on your knees, lift your right leg up. Maybe straighten the right leg long. A little circle with the right leg around, around, around. Really small. 10, breathe. Nine, Good. Eight. You're holding that left side body strong. It's five. Reach your right leg as long as you can. That's it for four, three, two, one. Now bring your right knee down. Come up onto your hands and to your knees. You're in a tabletop position. Tabletop. Beautiful. Reach your right leg back and behind you. Can you feel your ankle right in line with your hip? Hug your low belly into the spine. And then all we do is tap the right toes, lift the right leg up. Tap, lift, tap, and lift, good, down and up. So you wanna make sure your right leg isn't lifting higher than your hip. We wanna hug the low belly in, keep your torso nice and strong. 10 for nine, good, eight. Keep breathing deeply. You've got five, hold it up in four. Right leg stays up in three, two, and one, lift it up. Now bring your left forearm down to the mat. Right hand stays grounded. Bend your right knee in towards your right tricep. Keep your knee bent. Lower your right leg down to meet the left. Lift it back open and then reach it straight back in behind you. Go quicker, bend, close, open, reach. Bend, close, open, reach. Awesome. So you do want to make sure that the right hip lifts a bit higher than the left and you're going to feel both right leg, right glute and left side. Yeah. Cause your left leg is stabilizing to hold you here. The right leg is the mover. So it's working in a different way. Good. In, close, lift, reach, bend, close, lift, reach. We've got 10 for nine. Whoo, eight, good, seven, almost there, six, you've got five, awesome, it's four, three, two, one, and then bring the right knee down to meet the left, come to sit back on your heels, interlace your fingers at your low back, or reach for opposite forms, and then open through the chest for a moment, big breath in, and a big breath out. Incredible, now come onto your right hip and then all the way down onto your right forearm. Again, you can lift the right hip up and have the knees stacked or you can extend your legs long if you want that full side plank variation. You check in with what feels best in your body today, okay? Reach your left arm up and hold. Now activate, squeeze through the right side body and push the floor away with that right forearm. The left arm is gonna thread underneath of your right side body and then inhale to lift all the way back up. We go, exhale to twist, inhale to reach. Exhale to twist, inhale to reach. Good, feeling into that rotation through your torso. Go shh, and then inhale. You're doing amazing, rotate, squeeze, lift. Yes, guess how many more we have? You got five more, all right, it's five. And then you lift, stay focused, four, 
Every movement holds purpose, yeah? We're here for three. And find that lift, I'm starting to get sweaty. This is two. And squeeze one more, one more. Bring it underneath. Reach it up, hold here, and then reach that left leg long. Okay, keep it super straight. Draw tiny circles with the left leg around, around, tiny circle, tiny circle. Good, 10, nine, eight, whoo, seven, six. Lift out of the right side body, four, three, two, one, and bring it down. Come up onto your hands and to your knees, tabletop, and then reach your left leg back in behind you. Feel your ankle right in line with your hip. You can always look down as well, okay? Left toes tap, lift it up. Little tap, squeeze lift, good. Now, the one thing that helps this the most, if you're like, I don't feel it right away, Mick, then what I want you to do is reach your toes, reach that left leg as long as possible, and imagine you're being stretched out through the top of the head down to the toes. Shoulders are nice and level. Give me 10. Squeeze, good. And mind to muscle connection, okay? Think about the left glute. Think about your left hamstring. You got it. Five. Hold it up in four. Keep it up in three, two, and one. Hold it up here. Now bring your right forearm down. Keep your left hand rooted. Bend your left knee into the left tricep. Close your left leg to meet the right. Lift it back open like a little dog peeing on a fire hydrant, and then reach the left leg long. It could be a big dog, a medium dog, I don't know, but here we go. You bend the knee in, close the leg, lift it open, reach it long. Bend, close, open to the left, reach it back. In, down, up, reach, good, nice. And again, you're gonna feel that right glute because you're stabilizing in your right leg. You're gonna feel your right shoulder, your left shoulder as well. Your body's in this interesting position, holding you steady as the left leg moves. In, down, open, reach, Ooh, in, down, open, reach. We're here for 10, it's nine. Eight, I'm right here with you. Yeah, seven, good. Six, for five. It's four, three, two, one, and bring it all the way down. Come to your hands, to your knees, tuck your toes, lift your hips up, reach them all the way back. Find a downward facing dog, little pedal of the heels, gentle shake out of your head, big inhale, and a big exhale. Good, now walk your feet to meet your hands, forward fold, and start to peel all the way up to stand, all the way up, roll the shoulders up towards your ears, and back down, and then take your feet about as wide as your hips, bend your knees, come on down halfway to a squat. Good, little pulse, down, 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 up, down, up. So as you're pulsing, I want you to keep that halfway range, deep hinge of your hips back. Imagine your bum is tapping a chair every time you pulse and pulse, roll out the shoulders, have fun with this 10. That's it for nine. It's eight. You got seven. Guess what? In six, you probably wanna stand up. We're not gonna stand up. It's four, three, you can if you want to. Two and one, just hold, lift the right heel and drop. Lift the left heel, drop, pulse. One, two, three, four, and hold. Right heel lifts, drop. Left heel lifts, drop, and pulse. Two, three, four. Give me one more, right heel lifts, drop. Left heel lifts, drop, and pulse two, three, four, stand up, reach the arms back and behind, open the chest, and hinge from the hips, forward fold. Whew. Let your head drop for a moment, breathe in, and breathe out. Awesome, now roll all the way up, and have your right foot forward, left leg back halfway, back heel is lifted, bend your knees, come down halfway, okay? Little hinge forward of your chest, so it's like a little split lunge. What we're gonna do here is we pulse one, two, three, four, left foot steps up to meet the right, steps back, step up, step back. That's the movement, ready? Three, two, one, pulse, 
two, three, four. Step up, step back, step up, step back and hold, pulse. Two, three, four. Stand up, tall, split lunge. Tall, split lunge, hold, pulse. Two, three, four. One more, up, back, yes, up, back, and pulse. Two, three, four. Now step up, left foot forward, right foot back. Bend your knees, come down halfway, right heels lifted. Start with the four pulse. Ready, one, two, three, four. Right foot steps up, step back, step up, step back. We pulse down, two, three, four. Stand tall, hinge, stand tall. And you got it, weight is in that left leg. Working into the quad and the glute. Tall, back, tall, back. Two more rounds, that's it. Three, four, up, split lunge. Tall, split lunge, last round. Whew. Three and four, let's go. Rise, back, rise, back. Stand up, reach the arms up, inhale. Exhale, hinge from the hips, forward fold. Shake out your head, wiggle out the shoulders, and then lift up halfway, bring your hands to your shins, lengthen out through your spine. Exhale, plant the hands. Step one foot back, and then the next. I'm like, are we gonna do a plank? You bet we're gonna do a plank. So options, you can be on the hands and on the toes. You can be on the forearms and on the toes. You can be down on the knees and on the forearms. Just having the knees behind the hips, that's a bit of a modified variation, but it still invites a lot of strength in to your body. <sighs> Big breaths. Shaking here, haven't done a plank in a little while. Okay, hold or hip dip one inch to the right, squeeze lift to center, one inch to the left, back to center, right, center, left, center. Breathe, lengthen out from heels all the way to the top of the head, right, center, left, center. Oh my gosh, we've got eight. For seven, six, can you hear the shake in my voice? <laughs> it's five, that's it, it's four. Bringing the knees down in three, two, and one. Bring the knees down. Come up onto your hands and knees. Uh, tabletop position. Take an inhale, drop your belly, lift your tailbone, lift your chin. And exhale, round through your spine, tuck your chin into chest. Do two more, breathe in, front body opens. Exhale, bring space into your back body. One more with your breath. Incredible job, my friend. Wiggle your knees back in behind you, come all the way down onto your belly, onto your chest, and reach your right arm over to the right side. Palm of your hand is down, wrist in line with the shoulder. Bend your left knee, peel over onto your right hip, and your left foot might stack or step behind the right leg. Let your head rest down. And send some deep breaths into the right side of your chest and shoulder. Good, big inhale and exhale. Yeah, now gently come back through to center. Oh, left arm over to the left side. Palm of your hand is down. Bend your right knee and peel over onto your left hip. And just make sure your head is resting down. Full breaths into the left side. One more. And come back through to center, please. Push all the way up. Send your hips back to your heels. Wiggle your knees out a little bit wider than your hips. Reach your arms forward and melt your forehead down. Just a few short moments to ground. Gentle stretches. Take this moment to be proud of yourself for showing up and making some movement for yourself today. Yeah, committing to 
what feels good for you. And find your way back up. Sit back on your heels. Good. Maybe reach your arms up. Big inhale. Exhale, cactus sheep. Your arms open your chest. If there are any other stretches you want to do, you go for it. <laughs> I've got some really fun five minute videos stretching for the lower body, upper body, all things like that. But I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and thanks for moving with me today. I will see you soon.